This is a uh, disorder um, that is a bona fide neurodegenerative disease. It's progressive and it unfolds over a period of years. So it, the words really tell you what it is in some ways that once you decode it. It's chronic, meaning that it lasts a long time. And in fact, um, our evidence suggests that it's progressive. That means it gets worse with time. We also know that um, in all cases that we're aware of, this disorder is linked or associated with um, brain trauma. So there is some inciting injury or multiple injuries that then lead to a neurodegenerative disease that follows secondarily. So the way we think about this is there's an initial trauma that can damage the brain directly. And there can be injury and deficits and problems associated with that both clinically and at the level of the brain. And then over years to decades, uh, there's a secondary process that appears to unfold um, called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is really a connected but a second disorder. And as a neurodegenerative disease, it has features that um, are like many of the other uh, age-related neurodegenerative diseases, like Alzheimer disease is another one. Uh, there's some frontotemporal dementias, um, a variety of Parkinson's disease is, an, is another one. And they unfold over years, and the deficits to uh, the individuals, uh, their families, uh, their ability to be in the world um, unfolds over that time, and the impairments become greater um, over time. And again, this is years to decades. And then the last piece of it, so there's the chronic, there's the traumatic, there's the encephalopathy. So the encephalopathy means the brain's not right. And in fact, that is true, and we have a pretty good understanding now about how it's not right. Uh, part of it has to do with this protein called tau. And we know that in um, both chronic traumatic encephalopathy and its variants, that tau becomes deranged, and this rogue protein causes problems throughout the brain and in fact leads to loss of brain, brain cells and particularly uh, neurons. And those are the uh, primary cells of the brain that are involved in thinking and memory and what we think the brain, um, what we think of when we think of the brain. So that becomes deranged with time. That's the encephalopathy part. So this is a bona fide brain disease and the linkage to trauma, that's something that we're working out now, but certainly we know that um, repetitive trauma and high, high contact sports like football or hockey or boxing um, lead to this disorder in some subset of individuals. We don't know how many, but in some set of individuals we see that this disease is linked. And now what we've recently found is that other traumas, including exposure to blast, may also be associated.